China undertook the construction of Vietnam's light rail. Why did it take 10 years to build 13 kilometers? Is it because China's infrastructure is not strong enough? In this video, let us learn more about it. As a major infrastructure country, China not only undertakes the mission of domestic construction, but also undertakes projects in many countries. Recently, China's overseas infrastructure projects have once again received good news. According to media reports, the first urban light rail project built by China Railway 6th Engineering Group Company, Limited in Vietnam, the light rail from Cat Lin to Ha Dong Line in Hanoi was officially opened to traffic and put into operation. According to relevant information, the light rail has a total length of 13 kilometers, a total of 12 stations, and a total investment of 868 million US dollars. However, it took 10 years to build. According to China's plan, the project will be completed in three years at most. This light rail in Vietnam took 10 years from construction to handover, and there were as many as 10 delays in commercial operation. So the question is, what is blocking the advancement of the project? Vietnam Hanoi Light Rail Jilin to Ha Dong Line Project Line Length of 13.02 km a total of 12 stations, the whole line is an elevated structure. It is the first urban light rail in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. The project is a model project for the docking of China's Belt and Road Initiative and Vietnam's two corridors and one economic circle. At the same time, it is the first overseas urban transportation project that integrates design standards investment and financing, equipment and materials, construction, supervision and operation management of the whole industrial chain, Chinese standards, Chinese technology, and Chinese artisans. The construction was undertaken by China Railway 6th Bureau in EPC General Contracting Mode. Generally speaking, the construction difficulty of light rail is far less than that of subway which is similar to that of ordinary railway. Moreover, the total length of Hanoi's light rail is only 13 kilometers. Any subway line in the country is several times as long. The reason why the construction speed of Hanoi light rail is slow is ultimately a problem in Vietnam. The line is divided into two stages from the start of construction to the actual opening to traffic. The first stage is from the official start to the completion of infrastructure. The main problems at this stage are the delay in demolition and the lack of Vietnamese management experience. This stage has experienced disturbances such as demolition and resettlement, construction accidents, intervention by senior officials, and financing difficulties. It can be said that one wave comes after another. Chinese construction workers entered the scheduled construction site in 2011, but the demolition and resettlement work that should have been completed by the Vietnamese had not been completely resolved. The construction was delayed and stopped, and it was not until 2013 that the demolition and resettlement were basically resolved. Later, the Vietnamese media criticized the Chinese contractor because the Vietnamese subcontractor failed to perform construction according to operating specifications and caused a construction accident. Vietnam's Minister of Transport even requested that the Chinese contractor be replaced. Fortunately, the box girder erection of Hanoi Light Rail was successfully completed on October 7, 2016. This is a milestone for the project, and the civil engineering work has been basically completed. However, the good times did not last long. In 2017, China and Vietnam were once again delayed due to overruns in project construction, and had no choice but to provide additional loans. 
In September 2018, the installation of equipment along the light rail line was completed. So far, this light rail, which has a total length of about 13 kilometers and has been put in the spotlight by all walks of life in Vietnam, has finally completed its construction work and entered trial operation. The first phase took a total of seven years. The second stage is from acceptance trial operation to opening of operation. The main problems at this stage are Vietnam's imperfect laws and regulations, funding issues, and epidemic issues. The project underwent trial operation testing in September 2018 and continued testing until April 2019. At this time, Vietnam believed that the 50 million US dollar cost of putting the project into operation should be paid by China, which led to a dispute. The reason why the Ministry of Transport of Vietnam has not accepted the project for a long time was that there was almost no existing experience in light rail construction in Vietnam and there was also a lack of laws, regulations and industrial standards for light rail acceptance. But more importantly, after passing the acceptance inspection, project funds need to be paid to China. Due to Vietnam's tight finances, this large amount of funds was a big pressure. Entering 2020, there was another delay due to the epidemic, but then Vietnam unexpectedly accelerated the progress of the project. There are two main reasons for accelerating progress. First, China and Vietnam have other important projects that require cooperation, such as power generation projects that are vital to Vietnam and the two sides need to maintain good relations. The second is the impact of the epidemic on Vietnam's economy. The Vietnamese government needs to use this light rail to stimulate the economy along the line. Some media pointed out that since the light rail construction projects were completed in 2017, Housing prices on both sides of the line have been increasing day by day, and more and more shops have been added. Secondly, the project itself is also helpful in solving local employment problems. After the light rail company operates, thousands of employees are needed to ensure normal operations, making the project itself a major employment generator. At the same time, the authorities in Hanoi and even Vietnam intend to support the Hanoi Light Rail Operation Company to become a model for local enterprises and enhance the government's image and public satisfaction. On December 12, 2020, a bright green light rail train slowly drove out from the Hanoi depot, marking the official start of the trial operation of the Hanoi Cat Lin to Ha Dong Line Light Rail. Previously, the Fire Protection Bureau of the Ministry of Public Security of Vietnam has launched the Fire Protection Acceptance Work for the entire light rail project and tested the technical performance indicators of fire protection equipment and facilities at each station and depot, creating favorable conditions for the subsequent acceptance and handover of the project. The trial operation test was completed on December 31, 2020, and will then enter the trial operation stage. The difficulties in the future may be much smaller than before, but due to the mutual trust between the two parties and the details of the contract, some twists and turns are inevitable. Fortunately, after going through a series of difficulties, this light rail, with 77% of the cost coming from China's development aid loans, was finally open to traffic. However, due to repeated local obstruction, the final cost of this light rail was 57% higher than the preliminary estimate, and it took a full 10 years. Such project progress achievements are undoubtedly a big lesson for China. However, the Hanoi light rail is generally quite fast. This is clear if you look at Japan, which is building another railway at the same time as China. 
The light rail in the Ho Chi Minh area they presented to Vietnam will not be completed until 2045. China has also reflected on the Hanoi light rail project. When Chinese companies go global, they first need to fully estimate the difficulties of overseas projects. They would rather overestimate than underestimate, make plans to deal with various difficulties, and form a set of standards and regulations. Secondly, China should not bring out its inherent domestic way of thinking. Different countries have different cultures and ways of doing things, and they need to do things according to each other's way. If the Chinese construction team's mindset remains unchanged, they will definitely suffer. Once again, you need to have a deep understanding of the relevant laws and regulations of the other country, because the language barrier may be difficult, and you can ask an experienced consulting company to solve it. Finally, the contract must be detailed and quantified, such as the technical standards of each part and how the funds will be settled to prevent buck passing. For Party A with average credit, it can adopt plans such as phased construction, paying part of the construction and part of the construction to resolve risks. After this light rail project is open to traffic, it can fully demonstrate the technical level of China's rail transit and enhance China's technical image. It will have important reference significance for Vietnam's subsequent subway, light rail, and high speed railway construction. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.